Yo, what's going on everybody? Thank you for stopping by the channel and coming out to check another Mystery Box Friday. So as you guys know, in the last video, last week's episode, I opened up a box from Two Kicks. And just to keep it simple, it just wasn't the greatest box. I mean, value might be there, but it's definitely a box that's super hard to move and it just wasn't like the best. So during that same week though, I did buy another Mystery Box from them for $1,500. So they did say that this box is gonna be way better. We'll see what happens, right? So stay tuned right after this. If you guys haven't already, make sure to watch this video right here because I am doing a $300 shoe giveaway. So make sure to enter that. All right, so pretty much what happened is I bought a box for 750, did not turn out great. In that same week though, I bought a box for 1500. So it was shipped before I even uploaded the video. So they had no idea. So this is still just from their old batch of stuff. They're changing things up. If you check out their Instagram, at two kicks, they have been you know, doing stuff. And honestly, this isn't sponsored. They don't send me boxes because they're trying to hype up their channel. As you see, like from the last video, that box did not help their channel. So as we get into the box, there will be a counter right over here and it's gonna tell us the market value for every shoe that we get. So with two kicks, every shoe is dead stock. So it's gonna be right around StockX lowest ask, depending on the shoe, cause that's not always accurate, just a heads up. But it's gonna be around you know, the market value. And then at the very end, we're gonna go ahead and see how much profit this box is really gonna make. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into this. And the crazy thing is that I don't need a knife because I don't know if you can see this. I haven't opened this yet, but look, it's it's pretty much open. So I did contact them. They know that it's a problem. So uh, that's one thing I do like about Two Kicks is every time I talk with them, they're always working on stuff. They're always trying to get better at what they're doing. And so that's, all, that's honestly like the main reason why I like buying from them is because I'm trying to support other small businesses like myself. But if their mystery boxes are still not that great, I mean, yeah, I just have to make the right financial decision and just not buy those boxes. So anyways, let's just go ahead and get into the shoes. I just got a Dennis Rodman this, you know? All right. I see a pair of shoes in here that I know that they're worth a lot, but it's kind of freaking me out because I already have a pair and it's been hard to sell. So we'll see. But here is a sneak peek of this box. And uh, yeah, so the first shoe out right here is a pair of Nike Fear of God Skylon 2s. And right here, we do have this white colorway. So this one's super clean. I remember when these came out because I was working at Nike at the time and they were going for under retail. So they do fit half a size small. So for anyone who's interested, they are a tight fit. So I did go up half a size, but these are size 10. And yeah, overall great details, great leather, great quality for a Skylon type of shoe. But uh, these I think are going for still right around retail now, maybe a little bit more, but we'll see how they end up doing. I do like Fear of God stuff. As you can tell, I'm wearing Fear of God stuff. so. I like the bone colorway of this personally for myself, so not a bad shoe. Uh, we have a Jordan 1 box right here, size 9, and it is a, let's see. Okay. So I haven't really had too many of these in hand just because when they came out, they kind of bricked. Uh, but now with like the vintage vibe coming, I could see these shoes doing pretty well. Uh, I think they're doing decent. I know they're not doing crazy, crazy numbers, but they're not bad. So this is the Jim Red Jordan 1. Um, I forget the actual name of it, but like the sale. Yeah, these are these are definitely cool, good quality. Uh, like I said, everything's dead stock, so you don't have to worry about that. But if you are interested, they are a size nine. I will be selling these. Uh, most mystery box items, I don't really like to hold too long, uh, unless if it's like a super hype shoe, like a Jordan 1 Mocha 
or something like that, then I'll hold on to those. But uh, other Jordan ones, sometimes I don't really. So if you are interested in any of the things I am selling, go ahead and check out my Instagram at the real sneak peek. I do sell on there. I also sell on eBay and that link is gonna be in the description box down below. You can go ahead and shop my site, but let's get into some other shoes. So we got three more shoes left. Uh, this one is a pair of Jordan 1 mids in a size 13C. And we have a pair of Obsidian Jordan 1 mids, I think. So definitely a cute shoe. Definitely not a shoe that goes for crazy amounts of money. I mean, it's still cool for any of your kids. Honestly, like these are gonna be a little bit cheaper of a shoe, I'm guessing, just because kid sizes don't do so well, especially if they're mids. So it is gonna be a cool shoe for one kid to wear. If you need to fit your kids, then you know where to shop. So we do have those. And two more pairs left. All right, I think these are the Jordan 6s, but these are a size eight and a half. Oh, these are the Jordan 1s. Oh, I do like the towel. I honestly never unboxed any pairs of these. We do have like this purple colorway. I did like the orange one because people were turning it into like shattered backboards, but like you had like the translucent soles right here that say Gatorade on it. Water sucks. Gatorade is better. That was pretty cool. Um, I know that these don't do crazy numbers either. Because at the time, the reason why I never had a pair is because they didn't do well. Water sucks. It really, really sucks. Uh, in terms of resale value. So I never really thought about picking one up. But I know that they're a little bit harder to find now. Honestly, quality wise, it's, it's a pretty good shoe. Uh, color wise, it might be a little bit harder to pull off. But I know someone can definitely pull these off. That person is not me though. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, these are... Like I said, size eight and a half. So if you're interested, go ahead and hit me up. And the last shoe out of this box is actually really insane. I'm surprised that they even put this in the box. Um, the reason why I knew is because the lid fell off, but over here, we do have a size 10 dead stock Supreme foam posit in the red colorway. So the reason why I was like, okay, this shoe is like super hyped and like, I mean, these being dead stock, I'm pretty sure that they'll be a little bit easier to sell. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to sell these on GOAT just because uh, I feel like that'll probably be the best place to sell these, but Supreme Foam Posits, definitely, definitely a clean shoe. Super rare nowadays. I do have a size nine that are used that I'm selling for like, I think I'm selling them for about a thousand dollars and I know dead stock pairs are going pretty crazy but this shoe definitely is a harder one to move because this is this shoe is specifically for like collectors only um, people aren't going to spend a thousand dollars on a pair of foam posits it's it's just one of those like like rare shoes that are super cool to have if you're a collector or if you even just want to wear them but like spending a thousand dollars or more on it is going to be uh, a little tricky for this one but yeah overall uh, this box is definitely way better than uh, the previous boxes. I know it's supposed to be 1500. Um, I know the foam posits already go for over a thousand and then the gym reds, the sale gym reds, I think they're called go for, I think maybe 300 now. So I definitely think my money's in this box. We'll see how they end up doing. Um, but over here, We'll go ahead and break down. I don't look up these prices until after the video, but that's why I kind of just estimate. But why estimate when the numbers are here for you? Because I'm already doing the work for you. So we do have all of these prices right here and that totals up into this amount for the market value of the entire box. Now we're gonna go ahead and subtract the box cost, which is 1500 plus the $40 for shipping. So 1540 is our total cost. And that leaves us with a total amount of this much profit. So we'll see over here. You will see that I'm adding like more of a grading the box, depending on movability, the size range, like stuff like that. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this box. Is this way better than their $750 box? Like I said, I support two kicks just because I know that they're good people, but I will have to make my financial decisions a little bit better. Um, just in case their boxes don't, you know, they're just not profitable, which they have been in the past. 
Um, this one seems to be good, but I did get a not so good box last time and they even apologized for it. So it is what it is. They're cool people. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Happy holidays to everyone. Make sure to like, subscribe, go ahead and follow, do all that stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.